Russian bombing of Ukrainian energy infrastructure in recent months has left more than 10 million Ukrainians without electricity. Many had no heating or water as winter set in. This energy facility in central Ukraine has been hit multiple times in recent months. The CEO of Ukraine's energy operator Ukrainerho Volodymyr Kudrytsky showed VOA one of the substations that are critical to the Ukrainian power grid. The substation's transformator, essential for bringing energy to millions of Ukrainians, was destroyed during a recent attack. The Russians already launched more than 1,000 heavy missiles and kamikaze drones specifically at Ukrainian electric grid, mostly Ukrainergo objects, the like transmission uh, objects, but also power plants. And this makes this uh, campaign against power system the largest in human history. Nobody ever has experienced what we are experiencing now. Kudrytsky says Ukrainerho must introduce rolling power cuts to maintain the balance between generation and consumption in the system, and this affects millions of Ukrainians. Russian and Ukrainian energy system used to be connected. Kudrytsky says Russian energy experts are advising the Russian military on what part of the system to attack to inflict the most suffering. They also are picking up time when it's cold outside to uh, disconnect from the grid uh, water supply heating systems and therefore destroy this critical infrastructure, these types of critical infrastructure as well. Because electricity grid is the most basic type of critical infrastructure. Without it, nothing else works. Most of Ukraine electricity is generated by nuclear energy. Ukraine has 15 reactors at four nuclear power plants. A month ago, after a massive Russian attack, the Rimna nuclear power plant, located 60 kilometers from the Belarusian border, was forced to stop operation due to severe damage to the Ukraine energy system. The biggest power station in western Ukraine, Rimna, supplies more than 15,000 gigawatt hours of electricity per year to the national grid. The station's director says they work with the military to protect the facility. However, they need more assistance from the international community. First, we need protection, protection of the critical energy infrastructure. The head engineer of the station adds. Because of the missile attack, we need to pay more attention to safety of our station. And the international community came to understand what the nuclear safety in Ukraine is the problem in the whole world, not the problem only the Ukraine. Well, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky argued U.S. President Joe Biden to assist in safeguarding the country's energy grid. He said the barrage of Russian missiles and drones had destroyed 50% of Ukraine's grid network. Ukraine's energy infrastructure remains the main target of Russian attack. Miroslava Gungadze, VOA News, Ukraine.